Welcome back, everybody, for another Bainong 2.0 Redux. Uh, last time we still had a pretty easy time with the Mandalay Cobra, but now we will be going over to uh, the Royal Peacock. So let's see what's going on with poor Tobin Shweti. AD, year 20 of the reign of King Tobin Shweti. I am the chief minister of a kingdom without a king. The man from Portugal has corrupted King Tapenshweti. My lord has taken to drinking and forgotten both the ways of Buddhism and the blessings of the Nats. He leaves with the foreigner for weeks at a time on long wine-filled hunting trips. Even when he is in court, the king orders executions in drunken fits. Many of the kingdom's officials have pleaded with me to depose the king and rule Burma justly. But, though I love my country, I cannot betray my brother. I should have known rebellion would come. A monk named Ta, brother of the dead Hantawadi king, incites a revolt in the south. The king is leaving on yet another hunting trip, but he has ordered me to take the army to defeat this rebel. I will follow my king's instructions, but I am concerned. A minister named Sartat is eager to see me leave. I do not know what trouble he has brewing. Spoiler alert! He assassinates Tabanchweti. Well, time for our Philadelphia minigame with the Blind Lame Priest. Uh, bring word of King Tabunchweti's death to Bainong. Uh, killer converts Mim Sautut before reaching Bainong. Okay, still have a pop limit of 200, and I assume we can get to Imperial Age. We have our minigame. Lots of ways to get out of Pegu. Then there's a lying with enemies, and there's Sokate's camps. Um, Tharodama Yaza. Oh, he's the Viceroy of Prome. Oh, I assume he's Bengalis now. Okay, that makes more sense then. And Smim Hata is a Mon Prince turned rebel monk. And Sokate has the popular uprising. The king has been murdered. We must tell his brothers. Good old blind lame priest. Also, this is the uh, the appropriate building. This is, uh, you know, the, the Burmese monument and not the Temple of Heaven. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and convert Smim Sautat. But we're going to get all the stuff. I guess I can show you guys all the different ways out of the city. Okay. There's the envoy over here. Up, oh, yep. Thadodama Yaza is now Bengalis. He used to be Khmer. There we go. Attack, please. This will put you on no attack stance. This is the area where we're supposed to build up our camp. Oh, we got a mill. I don't remember getting a mill before. Let's just convert you back. Okay, okay. All these beggars. Go kill those Komodo dragons. Anyway, Smim Salt himself is over here. If you... Kill him or convert him. I don't think there's a difference between the two. Uh, you don't have to fight him. 
Moral of the story, you don't have to fight him. Here he is. Oh, now we get a war galley. We used to get a trade cog. And we also get control of Zaltat. Here's a heavy demo ship. Uh, we also should be able to get a monk over here. Yep. Anyway, uh, those are the different ways out of the city. The other gates are locked. I do not stop these pretenders. My grief must wait for another day. Okay, okay. Okie dokie. I feel like this has been redesigned slightly. Uh, we can do that. What? Gimme. Get him. Can uh, I guess start going this way? So yeah, we already defeated one of the four pretenders, and that guy, Smim Sautut, is in the Imperial Age. So that is a nice load off our shoulders. Let's go after Thadodama Yaza. Now the issue with this scenario, scenario, the issue with this scenario, is that it was just too easy. Especially if you take down Smim Sautut, like he can be a pretty strong enemy, but like if you just do the side objective, it becomes a lot easier. But let's see about Smim Hata and Thadodama Yaza. Thadodama Yaza actually has a pretty high score. Oh. All right, there might be more to this scenario this time around. Uh, that's a little awkward. Yeah, it used to be you could just defeat Thadodama Yaza with your starting army. Uh, but now we're allied to Pegu. But this guy has three TCs, so... We're going to want to take him down anyway. But he also, also he used to only train like three villagers or something silly like that. Oh, there he is. Oh, dang it. I don't think he was there before. Get him. Get him. Up oh, there's Sokate. Up. Oh, Sokate's got more stuff incoming. Let's try and raid over here a little bit. Yeah, there's another TC. Blue is on several TCs. Or three at least. Let's do right there, or let's not die. Yeah, yellow has no upgrades. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop it, you! Easy one HP. Ah, not the envoy. Okay, let's uh, retreat for the time being. But yeah, we do have a full 200 pop limit. I don't remember if that was always the case or not. But this is fine for the time being. No! He's on 2 HP! Uh, I guess we can go ahead and get you. 
Maybe get like a bunch of farmers or something? Sorry, water buffalo. Whoa, tall. Oh, there he is. What are you doing? Are you trying to convert my villagers, you jerk face? Oh my goodness, what a jerk face. Wow. I guess you guys will have to keep working. Well, stop it, you! Ten range? Get him! Stop! Jerk! Let's go ahead and do that. Go get him! Why are you so fast? <laughs> No, don't run away. Don't really need that much gold income right now. Uh, this scenario definitely feels like it has a bit more going on in it. Start working on you. Okay. Forgot about that monk. He probably would have been useful. Go get him! I wonder if Sokate ever gets upgrades. Let's actually uh, spread out the love as far as these villas go. Oh, yeah, there's that Odama Yaza actually training units. He used to not, like, train anything. <laughs> All right. And yet onward and upward we must go with our booming. Definitely getting more upgrades. Let's get something over there. Let's try and maybe convert into Rombai. Dang it! Stop it, you! Frickin' Thadodama Yaza! Oh, frickin' Sawtut's back, too! Jerk! Oh, that's full. That's why. Okay. 
Oh man. Okay, whatever. Go after these elephant archers or something. Um, let's convert that guy. Oh, finally we got him. Okay, we're closing in on the resources necessary for a castle. Get wrecked, nerd. But whatever we do, we just can't stop booming. No, Banyong! It's gonna castle up over that away. Stop it, you. Oh, yeah. Let's get you guys going. Just so long as that whatever we do, we don't stop booming. Oh, hey, the Envoy's still alive. <laughs> well, we are basically under constant attack right now. What? No, not a frickin' barracks. Did I lose my knights? Oh no, they're over here. Lazy butts? Well, considering this is the last build and destroy scenario in this campaign, I guess it's uh, probably a good thing that we're getting this kind of experience. Oh my god. Stop it. Do that, I guess. Whoa, where are you got the. Oh, I guess you got the stone all the way over here. Still doing just fine, though. I guess we got that started. Some more Rombai going. Almost ready for another castle. In fact, let's go ahead and get that one.
Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Get wrecked. Get husbandry. Let's get a blacksmith. Oh, ships. Almost done. Oh, there's another war galley. Let's go for some halbs, a rombi, and then maybe some elephants later on. Get some more pokey pokes. Uh, we can cut the stone production for now. I can actually send some pikemen out this way. I mean, we're still ultimately the ones who are getting really far ahead, but this at least feels like a bit more of a, a challenge. Gonna need some gold. Get help. We'll start getting some trebuchets. Get that. Oh, more gold over here. Nice. Alrighty. It's also a bit, 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 looking for space. Oh, oops. Oh, hey, Smim Hitai actually reaches the Imperial Age. Ah, eh, we got something going on. Oh, more gold over here. Uh, I don't really see them making that many archers. Okay. 
Okay, those crocodiles are finally going away. Ooh. Okay, that one's finally gone. Oh, when did this get revealed to us? Look how nice it looks. Or no, that's the Bengali monument, my bad. That's This is the Burmese one. Uh, let's go to university. Whoa there, chief. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, need to replenish our vill count, actually. Yeah, imagine the scenario would actually be really tough if you also had Smim Sautut attacking you from, you know, who's already in the Imperial Age just when you're in Castle Age. Still, onward and upward we go. Uh, get another castle over here. Let's... Let's start sending guys over this way. Well, that is fine. There's that Odama Yaza gone. Oh, look, he has a market over here to trade. Oh boy. He's got fully upgraded elephants, man. Oh, I guess they get rid of Red's tiles of gold. I guess you do run out of gold eventually. We both have pretty big imp armies. But my population is pretty enormous at this point. Relatively speaking. I'm still losing villagers at a rather sad rate. Alright. Castle's like right over here. There we are. Getting siege engineers. Getting lack of gold. Yeah, take that one tile of gold. Who cares? Can I just select these two guys, please? Thank you. Anyway, so Kate stays in Feudal Age, so that's not going to be an issue. Oh, 
Oh, he's deleting everything. I guess if he loses his town center and his castle, he starts resigning. Anyway, now, last but not least, is going to be the feudal, feudal age guy. In into the jungles. This shouldn't be too much of a challenge. But yeah, I, I like this version a lot more than the original one. are spawning in. They, they just spawn in units. They don't actually train them. At least I think they don't. Maybe they changed it. They used to just spawn in. Maybe there's like a barracks over here. Oh, okay. Maybe they, yeah, they do just train units. And I think this camp is a bit more built up anyway. Yeah, there's another barracks. Assertive castle. Oh, look at this. Uh, Jacqueline made these buildings wall off this gold mine. And stone mine, probably so the AI don't just take from it. Tonight, there we go. I will shed tears for my dead brother, the king. In the morning, I will take the throne and build the empire he dreamed of ruling. You do that, Bayanong. All right, turn up the volume. Sartat paid two swordsmen of the king's bodyguard to enter my brother's tent as he slept. Their pockets heavy with the traitor's gold. They drew their swords and headed my brother. His body was found by a monk and quietly cremated. I would throw away this crown if it brought my brother back, but he is among the gnats now. The gnats were tricky, just as my mother told me. They took my brother from me. I should not be king. I should not be the Chakavati. But the gnats made it so. I reject them. Rejected. All right, I mean, that was a, not, that's not a bad KD, but it's not as good as we normally have, especially with a sieve like Burmese. But, I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely a little tricky just to try and hang on there in the early game. That was a good one. I really enjoyed that. Felt refreshing. Especially after the second scenario, which is just, like, so easy. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the Royal Peacock. And next up will be everyone's favorite small Christmas present, the White Elephant. See you guys for that next time.